Hey there campers! Today we are going to be starting our week with paper mache. It's messy, it's gooey, it's kind of gross, but don't worry, we start with a dry activity. We're going to build up our forms with recycled objects before we dive into the gross stuff. I'm so excited for today. Come on! Hey there campers! Welcome to the Carousel of Animals Camp. So today we are going to be creating our large paper mache animals. Now let me show you guys an example. Okay, so here we have Mr. Giraffe. Mr. Giraffe is made with a small water bottle, a long paper towel roll, two marker boxes, a container of oatmeal, and a little bit of plastic I cut off of a berry container. So as you can see, we are going to be using recycled materials today. So now is a good time to pause and go around your house and find some cool recycled materials. Okay, I've got a bunch. All week this week, you guys are going to want to wear an apron or a smock. This will help protect your clothes and generally keep you dry. All right, I'm also working in a space where it's okay if I get things a little bit messy. I'm actually in my basement where I have an art studio set up for both of my children and for myself. So I paint over there, they paint over here. Anyways, this is a good spot for us to be working today because if I get a little bit of stuff on the floor, it's no big deal. I'm also going to need to find some newspaper. Can you find some newspaper somewhere around your house? Go ahead and pause if you need to and find some newspaper. If you don't have newspaper, old magazines will work just fine. So now it's time to open my box and find my masking tape. There it is. So now that I have my masking tape, I can start to construct my sculpture. Today I'm going to make a horse and I'm going to turn it into a real like carousel horse. It's going to be a little cutesy, a little odd in its proportions based on what I have, but that's okay because this project is all about using your imagination and finding form within these recycled objects shapes and creating form and making something that is special to you. So let's get started. Okay, so I have my tape, I have my recycled materials, and now we're gonna get started. This is gonna be the body. Now I need some legs. I'm just going to wrap a little piece around to make sure that that tape stays stuck. Okay, so for the last leg, I'm actually going to have it do that, ooh, you know, that kind of thing. So I have two paper towel rolls and I'm going to sort of crumple them into each other and make that knee joint. And you guys, you have a whole roll of this tape. Use as much as you want. Okay, and then I'm going to put this here because you see, ooh, this way we'll get a little bit of gesture in our horse. Now it's time for the head. I'm actually going to just use some of this newspaper. And this shape, this sort of box right here. 
and scrunch it up. So now I have a ball for the head and I think I'm going to take just a little bit of this to create a neck and then form some paper around it. Now remember, you can always fill gaps with a little bit more paper. So I'm just taping this berry container on as best I can here. Oh no! There we go. Okay, every horse needs a rump. So you can see here I'm using the lid of the berry container that I cut in half and then I'm going to form sort of a nest of newspaper around it. Okay so what this is going to do is it's going to finish off the details of my horse and give him a little more stability. It stands. I am going to use it to make the ears because it's just so easy to mold. Cheers. Whew. Okay. That was a lot of work, boys and girls. Now, I'm going to carefully move this sculpture, this armature. Yay! I really like how this turned out. So now I'm gonna rip up some newspaper. When you open up the paper, if you rip along the seam, like that, you'll get a smooth rip. When you try to rip sideways, you'll notice it kinda of goes all over the place. So it's best to rip this way, long ways down the paper. Okay, boys and girls, now it is time to make some wheat paste. This is gonna be a little bit messy. Let's start by going into our box. Perfect. I'm gonna find the bag that says wheat paste. And what you'll need are three things. Well, four if you count water. So I just got a container that has a lid in case I wanna save some of the wheat paste that I make for later. This is very, very washable. It's just flour and water. And I have some water. I'm gonna use this little Play-Doh fork thing. I need something to stir my wheat paste with. And I have a measuring cup. So I'm gonna start by putting one cup of water, just a little bit, into my container here. And so I'm just gonna start to add it a little bit at a time. Add a little bit. And stir it around add a little bit more and stir it around we're gonna keep doing this until it's the consistency of yogurt oh this is perfect I know it's kind of gross looking in fact it's extra gross looking but this is great this is going to be what's going to hold our sculpture all together it's gonna add the outer layer that holds all of those wonderful things, these components in. Because if we were to leave it just like this, it would be great, 
but it wouldn't be very sturdy. So this really adds structure. Okay, so now I have that there. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to take my sculpture. Hello, Mr. Horse. And I'm going to take my goo and I'm going to use this and the newspaper to cover my horse. Now the area where you're working is going to get dirty, so make sure that this is an okay space for you to be uh, working at. You might want to cover the table with a plastic tablecloth. All right, I'm going to take my first piece. We want to try and remember to take this wheat paste and rub it in all the way. I'll take a little bit on my hands and I'm going to apply it just like you would with lotion, with suntan lotion. I'll make sure to flip it over and do the back so we don't see any big clumps. Oops, there's a clump. Take that off. But we do see a little bit of a shine. It should be totally wet. Now I'm going to lay it on my horse. Now what's really important is that any part of this sculpture that is made of tin foil or tape needs to be covered. You can leave a little bit of cardboard showing because that will paint up just fine. You guys ready? All right, let's cover it up. Hey campers, I'm starting with this side and I'm gonna do this whole side, give it some time to dry, and then I'm going to flip it over. I'm also starting with big pieces of newspaper and I'm gonna work my way down to the smaller pieces for the details. I'm getting close to finished. So as you can see, I've tried to smooth down any of these bumps so that I have a more solid coat of paper mache around my sculpture. I've also added two layers to help make it strong. So here's the finished product. I can't wait to see what you guys come up with. Okay, so now that I'm done with this guy, I'm going to take my wheat paste and dump all of it out into the trash can. I'm also going to wash my hands really well. The wheat paste can go in the trash can and it's okay if a tiny bit gets in your sink. The plaster that we use later this week is not washable. So make sure that that never goes down your sink. But today, a little bit of this in the sink, no problem. Just not a lot. Put most of it in the trash. Great job today, campers. This was not an easy project. I'm so excited to see what you guys come up with. All right, bye-bye.